Honestly, guys, when I'm tired, I need a coffee. I need caffeine. Most Americans can Canadians do. 83% of Americans drink coffee. Cool stat. Another stat, a third of our lives are spent asleep. The two can have a direct effect on each other. Add in a pinch of anxiety. Add in a pinch of depression to the caffeine sleep stew. And what you have, I don't know what you have. Life. <laughs> okay, so in this life stew, there's a, a battle between I'm tired, should I have caffeine? I suffer from an anxiety disorder. Should I have caffeine? I feel depressed. Will caffeine wake me up and give me some better thoughts? The answer is within you. I'm just gonna share a bit of my experience and some, uh, some research I did, okay? So caffeine, along with um, working just like heroin and cocaine, just on a much smaller level, increases Gonna sneeze? <coughs> Caffeine increases the dopamine production in the brain, makes you feel good. It also latches onto this nerve cell called adenosine. Adenosine, which is a, neuro, a nerve cell that makes you feel tired. And what it does is it just tricks the body and says, hey, I'm gonna latch onto this nerve cell so you're gonna get energy instead of drowsiness. That's what I've read. That's, that's enough science for today. But the thing about caffeine, when you suffer from anxiety, is caffeine does not do it any favors. You just look at the symptoms for having a coffee. 150 milligrams, 200 milligrams of caffeine is basically a large coffee. Large Tim Hortons coffee. If you don't know what Tim Hortons is, it's a Canadian establishment and uh, they sell coffee and donuts and that's all Canadians do. We drink coffee and we eat donuts. So you have a large coffee, what's gonna happen? Heart rate's gonna go up, alertness, less blood flow to the stomach, hence the curb your appetite coffee scenario. All right, it's also going to increase muscle tension. Cool. Do those symptoms sound a little familiar? Of course they do. That's anxiety, man. So have your basic anxiety with no caffeine and add caffeine. It's not like your anxiety is going to get any better after drinking a coffee. In fact, it's probably going to trigger anxiety and make it a little worse. So this whole channel is about personal experience. All right, it's no good if I'm just spitting out facts and saying, oh, caffeine does this and this and this, and caffeine doesn't help anxiety. It doesn't really mean anything. It's about how it affects you. How do you feel after you have a tea? How do you feel after you have a small coffee? Maybe it doesn't affect you at all. Maybe a large doesn't affect you at all. For me, pour moi, I have a tall Starbucks coffee, all right? And I'm awake for eight hours. Like alert, like ha da 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 Like on my keyboard, <laughs> okay? All right, that's what it does to me. Have a coffee at 3 p.m., 200 milligrams. By 9 p.m., you're still gonna metabolize only half that, so you're gonna have 100 milligrams of caffeine in your body. Does that affect sleep? Absolutely. Wake up the next day, you had a terrible sleep, what do you wanna do? You wanna get awake, so you have another coffee. Vicious circle. So like every video, let me know how caffeine affects you. What we have here is the potential for a massive focus group. We have 11,000 people subscribed to this channel. We could do some pretty cool statistical analysis. See some interesting comments. But um, I really wanna know if caffeine affects you the way it does me. Caffeine does not make me feel better. If you're taking it and you suffer from anxiety, try completely cutting it out. You can go off gradually, right? Have a if you have a large, have a medium, then have a small. If you're having a, a light roast, go to a medium and then a dark roast. Dark roast coffees have less caffeine in them, all right? It's about how you feel. 
If cutting out coffee doesn't do anything and you still feel the exact same and are very anxious, then it wasn't the coffee, right? This is how we do it. Trial and error, take something out, see how you feel, add something in, see how you feel. Cool? Let me know how you think. Let me know how you think. Let me know what you think. <laughs> All right, bye guys.